think I did something wrong? Yes. Do you think I went too far? Yes. Can you teach me what to do? Come on, tell me. Can you show me what to do? Stop pulling on me, all right? I'll call for backup. Hey. Mr. Xiao. Are you interested in becoming a love coach? I've got someone here. A doctor who's drunk out of his mind. Here, let me put him on for you to hear his moaning. Ron! Can you hear it? Why are you just standing there? Hurry up and come save me. I'm about to go crazy. All right, I got it. I'm on my way now. Dr. Zhang's been drinking? Oh, he never drinks. It looks like he's really heartbroken this time. Honestly, I wasn't too happy about him making Leah upset. But seeing this now, it seems like neither of them can really let go of each other. Ethan told me. It's not that he doesn't like Leah. When it comes to marriage, he's not sure yet. He's afraid of marriage? I think it might be related to some things from his childhood. His parents divorced when he was very young. It was just his mom who raised him. So deep down, he has a lot of fear about marriage. Even though he hasn't explicitly said it, I can sense it. Every time he thinks about it, he remembers those unpleasant childhood memories. Oh, so that's what's going on. Where are my glasses? <sighs> Leah. I really can't be without you. Come on, I'll take him home. Let me calm down for a minute. I just can't seem to calm down. Aren't you guys experts in love? Can you teach me what to do? Run! I'm begging you. This is something you'll have to figure out for yourself. How am I supposed to figure it out? What should I do? Stop drinking. Tell me, do you really love Leah? I really do love her. I truly, deeply love her. Then why didn't you accept her proposal? I... Are you afraid? Afraid that... Marriage means taking on responsibility? Or are you afraid you won't be faithful to the marriage? I've never thought about being apart from Leah. It's just that for me. Marriage means starting a whole new life. I'm afraid of letting her down. But what I'm most afraid of is facing another imperfect ending. Do you think Leah had these fears when she proposed to you? She might have said it was just offhand. But I know she was really hoping for a definite yes from you. She just genuinely wants to be with you. I really feel so sorry for Leah. I truly feel sorry for her. Saying that to me doesn't help. You need to tell her. I'm going to find her. How can you go when you're this drunk? Don't stop me. I have to find Leah. Hey, stop trying to stop him. People tend to speak the truth when they're drunk. How is he going to drive after drinking? Dr. Zhang, go for it. Say everything you want to say. Looks like you've achieved your goal today. What's going on? Can we speed things up a bit? 
Director, I'm sorry. The actor for the ex-boyfriend role is stuck in traffic. He'll be arriving a little late. What's going on here? We're about to start filming. Hurry up! Got it, right away. Ethan, we are here. Love, it's just so confusing. I know you still can't let him go, but I hope you can give yourself another chance to start over. I know it's not easy, but I hope you can eventually let him go. But he means so much to me. I just can't let go of him right now. That's all right. I can... I can wait for you. When you're truly ready to let him go, I'll be there with you. No one can take Leah away from me. Ethan, what are you doing here? I know what I did before. Really hurt you. But did you know? Ever since the fight, I haven't been able to calm down. My head is filled with thoughts of you. Thinking about you over and over again. I just can't stop thinking about you. I've had so many moments where I wanted to come find you, but I didn't know how to face you. Then, why are you here now? Because I'm absolutely certain. I can't be without you. What he's saying doesn't match the script lines at all. Should we call cut? No need. His emotions are perfect right now. Let him keep going. All right. I know. I'm the dumbest fool in the world for letting some non-existent issues make me hesitate. I made you sad. You've already made up your mind to face everything with me. So I really regret walking away like I did that day. You always tolerate me, understand me and care for me. I really can't be without you. So... Have you thought it through about marrying me? I've thought it all through. I'll spend the rest of my life taking care of you and loving you. Maybe to you. I still seem a little immature, but I promise you, I'll work hard to grow and be the shoulder you can lean on. I'll never upset you again. I won't make you sad anymore. Leah, will you come back to me? I really love you. I really want to hold you. I really, really love you. Do you know that? Why are you drinking? I broke my own rule for you. Aren't you a fool? I am a fool. Mm. This actor is pretty good. This scene is really well done. Mm. Director, this isn't the actor we hired. What? What's going on here? Are you messing with me? 
Should we get someone else? No, it's fine. This take is good. Let's move on. Who would have thought you'd be like this when you're drunk? No one's going to take my Leah. No one can take my Leah from me. What you told me today, was it all true? I've known you for so long. But this is the first time I've seen you like this. To be honest. I'm really touched. Actually. I thought I was ready to let you go. But letting go of someone isn't that easy. Once you've fallen for someone, it's real love. You can't just stop it so easily. So, are you ready to face everything with me? No way. Even though I've forgiven him, I still have to punish you a little. You're not mad anymore? Who said that? I'm still very angry. What happened last night? You don't remember? I was totally drunk last night. I only remember going to the set to find you. And telling you a lot of things. And then... And then I forgot everything. I didn't cause you any trouble, did I? You did. The director was really angry. Oh no. I'll go apologize to him right now. The director said he never wants to see you again. What do I do now? Why was I so impulsive yesterday? So... The things you told me yesterday, do you remember them? Yes, I do. Do those words still count? I swear, everything I said yesterday was from the heart. 
I've thought about it seriously. Since I like you, I should give you the security you need. I'll never back down again. I'll never make you angry again. <clears throat> really? Really. Then I'll trust you for now. You're not mad anymore? Let's see how you behave. Are you hungry? I'll go cook something for you. No need. I have to go catch my next shoot. I need to leave now. I'll walk you out. No need. Just stay home and sober up. Rest well. Oh. Remember to take the hangover medicine. Hand out your hand. This is the last time I'm giving it to you. If you lose it again, there won't be another chance. I won't lose it. Good. Oh, by the way, before you go out, make sure to wash your face. Boss, we've already followed the plan Vic provided and adjusted the core data. All that's left is this final boss, which hasn't been modified yet. We know this character means a lot to you. So we thought it would be better for you to modify it yourself. I didn't expect things to progress this quickly. I thought we wouldn't see results until next week. Boss, you have no idea. We pushed ourselves to the limit to get this done. Didn't we have plenty of time this time? Why push so hard? Of course, it's for you, boss. With the current game issues, they think you don't have the ability to lead the studio to complete the task. We just wanted to prove that you're more than capable. You're nothing like what they say. Exactly. When the game officially launches, we'll definitely blow their minds. You've worked really hard these past few days. Go ahead and take a break. I'll handle the rest of it. Got it. Boss, if you need any help, just let us know. Your team is really loyal to you. They've been with me since the beginning of this project. They've stuck by me the whole time. Once the game is launched, I'll definitely reward them well. Rewards are a must, after all. They're working hard for your long-term happiness. After you win this bet, will your dad agree to our relationship? If he doesn't, we'll go with plan B. Plan B? We'll elope. Hi. How can you say such things? Lily. Hmm? Would you like to enter the game and say goodbye to your brother? After all, once it's modified, he'll become just a regular, non-playable character. All his previous combat data will be erased. Aren't you afraid that once I see him, I won't want to let go? I've already told you. I won't force you to make any decisions. If you can't let go just yet, we'll take it slow. As long as you're by my side, I can face anything. Actually, I do want to meet him. At least I can tell him that you're doing really well now. Okay. Let's go see him together. When we first designed Brother's character, it was to make him a guardian figure. He wasn't designed to be a boss character like Xingtian. 
That's why we hid him inside this dead tree. As a hidden Easter egg for players. But to clear the game quickly, you guys skipped this part of the design. At the time, we wanted to clear the game quickly for testing and didn't think too much about it. But without passing his test, no matter how high your combat stats were, you wouldn't have been able to defeat Xing Tian. So why didn't your brother show up? When Xing Tian was suffering? I wanted to make the game more interesting. So my brother doesn't appear automatically. You need a non-playable character to summon him. Brother, long time no see. And this is... Oh. I'm Lily's boyfriend and fiancé. Who said I was going to marry you? Seems like today, you've come to announce some happy news. Not just that. There's something else I need to tell you. The game world needs some data adjustments. Your character will be changed as well. So, today you've come to say goodbye to me? Oh, you won't disappear. Uh... But your combat stats will be adjusted, and compared to before, you'll become just like an ordinary person. I originally designed you to never be defeated, so I kept your original stats. But your stats are too high, and it's thrown the game off balance. Adjusting the data is the only solution. But if we do this, many people will be able to defeat you. Defeat me? Are you disappointed in me? I'm just curious. Is failure really that scary? Actually, it's not. It's just that for us, accepting that we aren't as good as someone else is really hard. Because we have consciousness, and with that comes all kinds of complicated emotions. Lily hoped you'd never have to experience that. I understand. I won't blame you. Do what you need to do. Brother? Are you really not mad at me? You're my sister. Of course I understand you. Always winning can be quite boring too. Sometimes I'd like to experience a different feeling. Thank you, brother. Don't forget. I'll always be here. However... You will take good care of her, right? I will. Now that we're together, I'll always protect her anytime, anywhere. Brother, I'll visit you often in the game. I didn't expect my brother not to care at all. I was the one overthinking it. Don't overthink it. Since he can understand, isn't that a good thing? Yes. Hearing him say it himself makes me feel at ease. Let's get back to work now. I'll make you a cup of coffee. Okay. Where did you go? I didn't see you all morning. I went to David's studio. Vic said there's a document that needs your signature. Leave it there. I'll sign it later. Vic said it's urgent. He needs it signed right away. He'll need it soon. It's just an agreement. Vic wants to take the game data to an international forum. To be on the safe side, he needs you to sign this agreement to ensure everything is legal. I've already reviewed it. There's nothing wrong with it. Just sign it. Is it really that urgent? Don't sign it. Joel, why are you here? What's this document? It's just a regular authorization contract. Stephen asked me to sign it. 
Give it to me. The Shen Corporation has full control over the game. Does Mr. Lin really need to look at this? Did you agree to let Vic take all the core game data abroad? He said he's going to an international forum and wants to use this game as a case study. Do you know that Vic plans to secretly sell the game data? This game data is the core content of the entire project. During early testing, we collected a lot of user data and habits. If this is sold as a product, the consequences would be unimaginable. Do you know something? Didn't you say you've seen the contract? Shouldn't you explain it to me? Sorry, I can't explain it right now. Did my dad ask you to do this? Miss! I... This time, thanks to your help. If it wasn't for your ideas, helping me deceive her, I wouldn't have been able to get the data. I wasn't helping you. I was helping the lady. I just thought... Joel isn't good enough for her. She's done so much for him. Been so good to him. And he's still indifferent. So I'm sure, if the two of them stay together, in the end, she'll be the one hurt. This won't involve her, right? Of course not. Just make sure she signs this agreement. If anything, affects her or the Shen Corporation. I won't let you off. <laughs> Our collaboration is flawless. I don't want to see you again. Get out! Joel, I... I'm sorry. I messed up again. Vic said he could provide a solution for the game. And fix it. I didn't think too much and agreed. I just wanted things to go smoothly. I didn't expect this to happen. Shayna. I'm begging you. Before you do anything like this, can you at least discuss it with me? There are many things you shouldn't hide from me. It's my fault. But it wasn't my intention. I just wanted to give you a stronger position in Shanghai Group. I never thought things would turn out this way. Have you thought about... that all this fighting, even if you get everything, will lose our brotherly bond in the end? I don't want that to happen. But if you don't fight... My dad will never agree to us being together. My dad hopes. I'll marry the heir to the Shanghai Group. I left the Shanghai Group because I don't want my worth to be based on gaining others' approval. If I've disappointed your dad... Then we shouldn't force things anymore. Joel, stop! I'm sorry. Ron, something happened. Vic tricked all of us. He's trying to take the game's core data abroad. He plans to sell it. I'm on my way to the airport now. Hopefully, I can stop him before he leaves the country, just in case. You should head out and search along the way. His license plate number is Zhang A19983. Look, I think it's that car up ahead. Hand over the data. 